with Mr. Sinister, it always took a lot of energy. And uh, I'd always wear a, just a t-shirt to the sessions because you end up just sweating because, you know, there's a lot of energy behind that character. And uh, the name, Mr. Sinister, it was just something that I enjoyed getting into. And uh, I, I remember thinking, well, with this character, you've got to have a lot of fun with it. And that's all that you guys would all love, that I would love if I was uh, like nine years old again. And, oh, <laughs> and uh, one of the things we did when we were casting for the show, I mean, all of these actors here, when they, we had other actors come in, but when these guys, when these, this, this, uh, all of these people, all of these actors here, when they came on board, their audition, they nailed it on the first try. It's like, we got it. You know, we got our rogue, we got our beast, we got everybody. You know. Her back history. Raya Rogue's tale. You get to see she was kicked out of home as a young girl when her parents discovered that she had these special powers. Um, you know, I liken it to situations where if an LGBTQ youth uh, is kicked out of their home by their parents or somebody who is slightly not uh, considered the norm, whatever that is. And I find that many, many young people, are, they really, um, they, can, uh, they can understand her and they feel very similar to her. So when she goes on her journey out looking for herself, I did that too as a young woman. Um, I traveled around the world trying to find out where I belonged and what was life all about. And I love it when uh, she says, and suddenly he called out, and that was Professor X who tells her there's a place where she can come and she's accepted and she's accepted for being herself. And that is a powerful moment. And I think that's what many of us are looking for is to belong and to belong to a family, a tribe, a community. And so I think that's why a lot of people relate to her because they do have those same feelings inside. And a lot of people have felt that they've been shut out. So if you ever feel like writing to me, and I get a lot of fan mail from people who feel that way, please write to me and I'll write you back. And uh, I hope that, that my performance has touched you in, in a good way. Thank you. I gotta work. But looking out at this sea of people uh, for your, you know, your one big animation role, how does that make you feel? Well, how can you not feel ridiculously grateful when there's a whole group of people staring your way that are here for something they love. I mean, I should just be out there staring up here. What I love is... But if I may go on, I think what Lenore just said, um, it just struck me because, and I think I might have touched on it briefly when I said that I didn't realize till after that word how, how deep the X-Men and the character development was. Um, I have some really comical stories about recording this because I felt so insecure all the time, especially because of Norm Spencer, uh, who, who played Cyclops. Norm could do so many different voices and he wanted to always play extra little parts for money and I was just clinging on to this, this opportunity, this accent I was trying to develop. And I'd try it, and then Norm would look at me and say, is that how you're going to do it? <laughs> he was so in my head. And we'd be in this room doing these, uh, the voices together initially, and these guys were all so talented, they could do imitations and impersonations. And I was, it, was a, it was a horrible experience for me most of the time. But what I'm getting at is, I think, to, to your point, I think I've spent a lifetime, a career, dawned on me, playing a very similar character to Gambit. I, I played for 13 years, I've been acting and directing in this, now the longest running Canadian TV series of all time called Heartland. Thank you. And I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it, but I play a similar character, a character that, like Gambit, uh, just wanted to be loved, but just doesn't quite know how to reach out. And when he does, he's too electric. <laughs> I think that um, seems to be a role I fit somehow. Ironically, uh, it's not the world I live in. Um, I'm a married guy with four children, grown children. 
but those characters I seem to have some empathy for. And um, I felt, I, I feel that that's a big part of, it was a big part of Gambit and Rogue's relationship. Um, that he, and he was very isolated, so lived in, very isolated from the others. And um, typically those are the characters I've been playing. So, uh, next question. Well, we've got a surprise for you guys. We've, we've worked very hard to get all these people together. And Larry here at the end has worked very hard to put together an exclusive LA Comic Con print of all these X-Men, never before done. Jacob, let's cue to the print. First appearance, Larry has it in his booth today. It's Saturday and Sunday only, brand new print featuring all the stars of X-Men and our greatest villain, Mr. Sinister. Thank you.